Hey guys, Seamus here. Uh, today I'm doing a quick video on changing the lens for the number 16 808 camera. This is the V2 number 16 with the B lens. And uh, I just got the D lens module for that in here. I just got that there for, for a wider angle. Uh, I got it off Ellie Top Online 365 on eBay. Uh, that's where I got my Mobius and the number 16 as well. So I'll leave a link to him. Great seller. Uh, only downside probably be, would be the delivery, it is like three weeks, but I guess coming from Hong Kong to Ireland it would be. Uh, so when I ordered the little lens, uh, oops, I got the lens itself, and it comes with a little lens cap on it. So I'll pop it through here. So it comes with a little lens cap for protection outside of the case, unlike the other one where inside the case so I um, got that there and this here it's a different casing as you can see it's slightly wider and uh, slightly bigger not, not lengthwise or anything but uh, that's just to allow for the big lens to fit through the hole the differences in them uh, so just give me a blank case for that and uh, just pack the foam for now so that's that and a little bag of the little screws for it. So we'll go ahead and open up the uh, the number 16 and take out that lens. So it's just two little screws at the bottom here. Go ahead and screw those out. There we go, so pop it open there. There we go. Uh, straight away you see the battery. Just going to pop off the battery to give you a better look at the screws holding it in. Uh, down the bottom here, there is a little empty hole right about there. Uh, I think there's meant to be a screw in there, but my one didn't come with one, so if it's not coming out for you to get that one as well. Uh, over here, can you see it? Yeah, there's a little screw in there and up at the very top here as well There's a little screw in there So just those two screws and three for some if it did come with one and uh, just screw out those All right, those two out. I can just pop out the uh, camera itself now here's the lens here and it joins in, joins into this uh, rib going across here. Now at the top of that little rib you see there's like a black bar going across, just going from there right across to there. And how you take out the camera is you just get your nail or something behind that and pop it up. And you'll see now there's now a little gap between the white bar and that black bar. Now the camera should just pop out like that, and it should come out the red side up. There's the little bars in the bottom. So once you have that there out, let's leave that there for safety. So once you have that there out, just go and get your uh, different lens in. in. This case, the D lens for me, and just get that. Lift the camera again, and. As you see when it came out there, this red side on the top of the lens was in the top. So it just slots in under that black thing, like so. Just like that there. And just pop down that black bar again. Like that there. Alright, so that's the camera securely in now. Um, just going to put the battery there for a second. Now, once the camera's in, you want to get the new case that should have come with it. If it didn't come with it, just send them an email and they should send you one because when you're ordering one, it doesn't tell you that you get one. It just says you get the lens. So just to be cautious, you might want to drop them a little email, but mine came and I wasn't expecting it to come. I thought I would have cut it out. So now that that's done, just get the top plate with the buttons 
what of the new cover and just drop it in with the battery on the top and this should sit in a little slot see yeah it just sits in a little slot like that and for this it did the bag did come with three little screws so uh I would say my number 16 wasn't screwed together properly during making so I'm just going to take away those screws and use the screws that came with it it also help if they ever got rounded so I'll just use these ones instead there we go you see there's uh, three little silver silver ones now so just oops I don't know what fell there all right so now just get the little silver ones. Yeah, I dropped the silver one. Alright. And screw it in this, the same three holes. One up at the uh, second and the right thread. So there's that one. Uh, pick up this one. And put it in under the battery as well. That little screw is, you can get to it. Screw that little one on. And I dropped the one, so I'm not going to go searching for it now. So I'm just going to use one of the old ones. And uh, screw that in. So I'm going to put that down in the bottom corner here for just that extra little bit of strength. Yeah, so I'm just going to check them all again. Make sure there's going to be no vibrations loose or anything. Okay, now, now that the board is all secure, just going to make sure the battery's in tight. Move the wires there and get the top or the bottom even of the new color and just slot that in place should fit over the camera nicely like so it tightens in nicely and all the slots will line up for the SD card and the uh, micro USB so all that's left now is the two little black screws to screw in the bottom here one oops and then the last one just tighten those up So that's those two tightened. Pop that in. Uh, new lens is in place. You can see, nice and tight. So that's perfect. And uh, we'll do some test videos and upload them after this video, and uh, see what it looks like. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already to get some more uh, RC videos. Uh, leave a like rating if you were doing this as well, or leave a comment if you have any questions or have anything to say. So. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.